So this next video um, is somebody that I haven't done any reactions for yet, yet, but there are so many videos. Like I'll never be able to keep up with the amount of content that Mr. Aslan Gold posts. But this one interested me a little bit um, because this is a, a question that I feel... I know like on a much smaller scale that people have asked with other games, obviously. Now, World of Warcraft, aka WoW, has been, you know, been around a long, long, long time. Is it possible to jump into a game that has been around for so long and be good at it? Like, I mean, again, WoW's been around a lot longer than Fortnite, right, as an example, but yet new people jumping in it's like oh yeah like I'm definitely gonna do this game is it worth putting your time in if you're trying to seriously be you know good at the game or get to the next level or even just enjoy it and understand the storyline like it's it's difficult jumping into a game right um especially one like wow that has been around forever and I mean, it's hard to draw in like a newer audience and stuff, but with these types of things, it is hard to relate to sometimes, right? Um, so I kind of, I kind of want to see what he has to say, just at least for these players, right? That are, as he's putting it, like pushing hard, right? For as a new player, can it work? Is can it be done? Um, so he's actually reacting to someone else. Um, who posted this, but I just really just wanted to actually watch this and I figured I'd react to it at the same time. I'm probably gonna have to move my cam because I'm pretty sure his is gonna be like in the exact same spot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, I, I'm pretty sure he's going down to the, the bottom left. Because, like, I mean, I put myself there as well. So I'm gonna just throw myself up here, I guess, for the time being. And hope that I don't cut him off too. We're going to take up a large portion of the screen, the two of us. <laughs> but, um, all right, let's, let's check it out. You see, WoW did like this big event and it's a, a new trailer, a new commercial. God, I mean I'm so say, much larger. Uh, about, about World of Warcraft. About trying to get new players. Too much of the screen. Blizzard are kind of like spinning up the marketing machine again. So there's a new uh, landing page for World of Warcraft called playworldofwarcraft.com. This is good. I will reject your cookies, Blizzard. Uh, adventure calls play world of warcraft try free now watch film get to watch a film Matt. incredible there we go we have people do we have output there yeah we've the already chat. seen this so they're just I gonna have skip no through idea it. if they can hear this we do not have any uh, yeah we've already seen this they're skipping through them just i would not really need any audio yeah yeah but it's yes. basically uh a new warcraft commercial in a tavern and again sure. would we All understand it stuff. right anyways Mm -hmm. And funny enough, we're in this page. I have now. never played it. So we are. We are on this page, or at least we were a while ago. Yes. Which uh, was me to me was like, oh, okay, cool. We haven't been cancelled then. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they have like a new promo site for the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you're from Sweden, they have a Discord for you. They're That's trying okay. really hard. Like, Blizzard is trying very hard to get new players. Because what happens with like MMORPG players is like it's, it's not really a dying audience completely, but it kind of is. It's like a lot of people are probably not really doing much with MMORPGs nowadays. They're not really. Okay, so I don't think, like, I I'm, know I'm cutting him off, but it's not just the MMORPGs. It's a lot of games. It's just, I understand he's going to go in a bit of a different route because, again, it's like it's an older game. It's a certain audience that, like, was really into that for, like, a long time. And, like, maybe they're just, that style of game isn't as popular. That happens, right? Um, but the thing is, is it, it, it just kind of goes into that underlying whole thing of, is that style of game going to remain popular? Is it still worth trying or doing or games like this that do require a lot of time and energy and patience? Is it worth it? Quarry? Okay. Yeah. And I, I don't know that one. Probably too scary for me, but, uh, <laughs> fair, fair. Like, like fucking... 
uh, they're moving on, they're playing other games, they're getting older, etc. So it's they're trying to bring in a new audience. Because and how do you do that? A lot that? of the younger people that I see, yeah. they're not playing WoW. Many of them are playing the, uh, you know, like Lost Ark. There's a lot of people that play Final That's Fantasy. That's true. And, and WoW is That's definitely true. more of a boomer game. It's also a, kind of an interesting thing. <laughs> more of a boomer game. So I, I guess I, I've missed that whole era myself but i mean it's just the the whole is i want to know is that style of game fading out like i'm not even again very familiar with it but i had thought at one time or another and even still occasionally when i do see like new things coming or whatever i'm like oh that style looks interesting but like should i bother trying to jump into a game that's so story immersed already you know and can you get all the explanation you need? I think I suppose. Uh, <laughs> this is funny. Watch the pros. <laughs> yes, the professionals. Beginner oh, content God. for some of our favorite creators. I feel not, like... Okay, already right there. They, they effed up. They, they effed up hard. You can't say watch the pros and then have it for beginner people like that's that's already you used to play wow so so since you've you've tried it before give us a little lowdown like with how you feel about that style versus some of the styles maybe that you play now the, the devs list. who blocked me may not agree with that statement yeah well, no one else oh, has. No one else has an official encyclopedia. Wow, encyclopedia. <laughs> there, there you go. Wow. Apparently, yeah. I am the encyclopedia. Sword run. Maybe we'll do a sword yeah. run. There you go. Oh, jeez, we'll look run. at this. Oh, oh that's so oh, long he's ago. he's three years old. That's so long ago. And has less hair. Look, yeah, that's exactly what he did. See, like the moment that fucking he pulled up that video, the first thing he did was touch the back of his hair. He's like, fuck, man. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There. This is where I had to officially for Blizz explain what one two three one two three is. Yep. Sorry, it was funny. Hang but... on, wait. Go back. Burst. Burst. The this is BOE. actually this is actually a really good video. I wish they had a video like this that was actually in game for people to understand it, like kind of like a lingo uh, video, so people could understand like what's what. Right. Yeah. Equip as well. Okay, okay. I was like, yeah, like for a second, I thought you were to get wrong. educated. I mean, no, these, these videos, oh boy. I mean, we do the first version, then it goes to Blizzard, then it probably ping pongs between yeah. 85 different people in 17 different departments. Yeah. Then it goes back to us, then we do another thing. That was a whole thing. This is actually a, a whole series. Yep. Actually, okay, let's see how the series has went. Okay, episode oh my one. Oh, Unlisted. Episode one. It had, it's got half a million views. views. Yeah, it's a lot. Episode two. We, we got five hundred thousand views. That's a lot nice. too. Episode three. The UI has got seven views. Ah, uh, hundred ninety-three. Yeah. So remember, you can still see the views really in between the two of us. That's uh, hilarious. Sorry. What are, we, what are we at now? Yeah, that's not yeah. a surprise at all. It's gonna go down. One hundred thirty. Oh, that's dear, that's dropping. what happens. Also, people lose interest though. in the game too. So, so, so one thing I've noticed, at least, is when you do multiple videos of the same game or like a series of stuff, it does, it, it's just a thing. You just lose the views. You're for, you think your first few are like super great and then they just, they plummet. And it's not even like necessarily, some of them it won't even be by half. You'll get like, you know, you could get like 10,000 and then you could be at like 200. And that kind of shit sucks. Like that is just something that just feels back to your Like you start thinking too as a creator. You go like, oh my God, am I not putting out good content? Did I do something wrong? Was I just not interesting to bring people back? Like there's a lot of this whole thing here, right? But but the, that's that's just the whole that's just how it goes, right? If it's a newer thing, people tend to, you know, be more drawn to it. What's more impressive is when you've done, let's say, like, you know, 20 of that same style, right? 
And then all of a sudden you do start getting those bigger ones again. That is what's more impressive is when you can get the higher views somewhere in the middle by doing something or having some sort of catchy title, thumbnail, whatever it is. I'm not talking clickbait. I'm talking just straight up, you know, it could be the game put out something too, right? And it just, you had good timing, but you know, again, it's just, it's one of those things that just happens as a, as a creator. Like, yeah. Like why? I don't understand that. I have no idea what it's all. Oh, it's still when I recorded in my apartment. Oh yeah. What is this about? Guilds uh-huh. and communities? It's oh, yes, guilds communities. and communities. Wow. 50, <laughs> mm. uh, that, that, well, there's... that tells a story, doesn't it? There's the abbreviation. Uh, right. So Fascinating. Well, there you go. Also, some other content uh, as well. Huh. Sometimes it's yeah. just yeah. enough, yeah. though, yeah. to get people, people started. To come back to the game. Oh, it just takes you back there. So anyway. Yeah. Look, I, I think is... that's it. It's because, like, the main people, like, Blizzard it needs to get new people into the game, but it is important to get people that have quit to come back to the game. Because, yeah, like, that's WoW hard. is at a point now where everybody that is going to play WoW already knows about it. Like, except for, like, young people that are getting older, you know, or growing up, etc. Like, everybody that's going to play WoW knows about WoW. So, it's like, why are these people not playing the game at this moment? Like, you've reached pretty much 100%, like, market awareness. Everybody knows about it. But, but again, that's the problem, is is everybody knows about it and has known about it, but there is nothing that can get those new players on the same level as the veterans. There is just no system there. And also for knowledge, right? Gameplay. I mean, like, there's just, it's just not there. Those basic tutorials, those little things that people need are gone. And again they're just too far advanced and i think like for me that would exactly be my explanation to it would be why i never tried it would be literally just because of that not because it didn't look interesting right because even still i'm just like uh, try it okay but then i'm like i'm miles and miles and years behind like give me the book for dummies is just them doing like a little marketing push i suppose yeah, yeah which i think is interesting because this was a marketing push for profoundly new players yeah i mean yeah. i think this is it's not good enough look though. to the faq uh, Pers- yes, we'll, talk about, mm. we'll talk about the last question of the faq very very soon but I, first i want to say that huh, I see. the whole thing about going for new players a marketing push for new players at this period of time seems like the most boneheaded fucking idea you could possibly have and i know there's like i know there's probably some oh. to it, but it feels like oh, no one ever stopped and said hey um maybe john height maybe yeah. maybe ian maybe you know someone else maybe someone a little bit Trey, lower than thanks humble. for the follow hey, welcome do, do you think now is a good time to invite new world of warcraft players in to play the game do you think the new experience is in there for them do you think it's a healthy enough economy a health- okay that's a fair that's a fair question right a hundred percent a fair question but at the same time i mean if you if you set the game up to be you know new player friendly mark it away otherwise yeah no it is it is kind of dumb but you have to have something that intrigues or it brings in those new people and do they have that healthy enough game for people to come in and really stick with it do you think if someone goes through yeah you have to have them stick to, you know, with they, it too they get through the couple of days of gameplay oh, that is man. genuinely enjoyable of like the fa questing say they get over that in a couple of weeks maybe oh, a month or so, and then they get that's... shadowlands do you think that's a good experience because i think oh. if anyone was asked that question mm. what's and the they answer said, yeah i think it's really well put together i think it would i think it would work once they get into shadowlands be able to pick it up really easily I think if anyone said that to them, they should be fucking fired for being a car, for being a card. Okay. <laughs> so for me, I'm... <laughs> oh my gosh. Melio, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I mean, like, there's a, that's a good point. I mean, really, it, that's, that's a good fucking point. Cause it's like, there's a lot of uh, people that bought Shadowlands. Yeah. I mean, I would say that WoW is in a better spot now than it has been <gasps> since the beginning of Shadowlands. Like, right now is, a, is the second best time to come back to the game 
Whereas, like, the beginning of the expansion is always the best time. Okay, so why? But, like, at the end of the expansion, so, so why? That would be my fixed question. all of the mistakes that they've crea created throughout the expansion, so a new player could come in and, and play I hope it. he answers. So, that. is it really unreasonable for that? He no, hears I, me. I think oh, my really God. the problem is it's about stopping people from leaving, getting people to stick and stay in the game. And the way they used to do that is they used to give people the opportunity to play alts. But I don't know why they just decided that's not the case. What I think they're doing is I think yeah, they're testing dumb. the funnel. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah. The way that this will work, right? You want to think about all of these things as a funnel, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, there's all the things that go into the funnel, and then there's what comes out. And what they want is a well-optimized funnel where they pump a bunch of people into the mm -hmm. funnel, and the conversion rate is high. So I have yeah, a course. feeling that what they're doing here that is they are doing a bit of a soft launch here. I mean, mm. it's only Sweden for this. For this. Yeah. Maybe they only <laughs> sorry. Maybe they're only pushing why this Sweden in that region because I'm not maybe sure Sweden why. could so, be a yeah. maybe a smaller analog to a larger territory. Maybe the same way that Australia is often used as an analog to uh, the United States whenever it just people seems are like, a soft sure. launches of games, especially mobile games. So maybe what they're trying to do is work out what the conversion rate of this cool, is, but so that then when it's Dragonflight time, they actually pump this. Maybe, that would make sense. Yeah, so maybe when okay. they take out TV ads, mm -hmm. or maybe if they put trailers in theaters or something, that then this is where people are being driven, and that it's a well-optimized funnel. They yeah. could be I think it. that's good. You want to get people invested. The thing is, like, the goal that, that video games like WoW should have is to have people thinking about the game whenever they're not playing it. Right. That is the prime directive of these fucking games is that you want to get people invested <laughs> in the game that are not already playing the game. Or, sorry, that are not currently playing the game. You want them to be sitting at Taco Bell thinking about what they're going to do on WoW whenever they get home. Okay, so literally, we know this better than anybody, right? Be and, I mean, I, I know personally I have a bit of a thing with just the community that we built, like getting – people to go in, try, stick with these like games that we typically wouldn't play. But it do it's not it's not easy to do unless you know what you're doing or you know about the game. And sometimes it literally all it does is it just requires the right people. So maybe it is just something like them reaching out to smaller you know, streamers and get or, or newer players that, you know, put out videos, whatever, content creators, and giving them, you know, the chance to show off to their demographic that, hey, maybe this could be for you. Can you convince your community with like, you know, 10 or 20 videos or, you know, streams or whatever that this could be something to keep going with? And again, it's not easy to do, right? And and whatnot but it, as somehow it has to be done here right especially so if the game wants Discord to go or something like that involved is a good thing because it keeps them engaged in the community yeah get them addicted you want to get people you have to get people it, consuming you have to get people thinking about the game all the time even when they're not playing it and to do that though it it i don't know how they're going to do it obviously they're gonna hopefully tell us but it's it is not an easy Content thing. Content about it, etc. It's kind of like for, for me, right? Like one reason. But when why, you like, can do, do it, well it's so powerful. I post content so constantly. powerful. Like especially on YouTube. He does. My YouTube is way more successful than my Twitch channel. I know that might sound crazy. That is crazy. But I, I have a comparatively I... a way more popular YouTube channel. And the reason why is that I'm posting shit constantly. Yeah. Uh, I'm posting things all hey, the time. Hey, he upgraded time. his chair, I think. Yeah, that, that would make sense because my... Honestly, my prevailing sense. thought is Just if notice. you're designing a funnel, at the minute they've got a funnel that feels a little bit like a Fall Guys level. Yes, yeah, so oh, the funnel no. <laughs> does not lead to the best place. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Is no. They, could be they could be thinking that, like, while the talents will make leveling a lot better, yeah. the, the part of WoW that's broken isn't the leveling. It's yeah. endgame, and they probably True. have very good True. telemetry, very good stats on how long it actually takes for a player to level up. Mm. And maybe they're thinking to themselves, yeah. well, the players who join now will be in Shadowlands leveling or at level 60 by the time Dragonflight comes out. Okay. Therefore, we should get them in now. So that I think that people will probably go through the leveling process in less than a month. 
Like, from, like, starting a game, if you buy the game, you will be max level in less than a month. And, and I'm talking about, like, these are just, like, super – no, no, I'm not talking about, like – for us, we think – it's kind of like whenever I say, like, oh, you can do the POE uh, – the, the fucking the POE uh, campaign in, in, like, a day or two. People are like, no, you can do it in four hours. Like, no. <laughs> no. Ty, Ty Killer can do it in four hours. You fucking can't. And neither can I, to be honest with you. And so <laughs> there's a lot of people that don't understand, like, a new player, a casual player, yeah. is just going to go through and – play it at their own pace at their own rate and it might take them a few weeks if not a month to get to max level because they're not trying to level up fast they're probably just playing through the quests or playing very temporarily in other words they're spending maybe an hour or two on a video game a day at most instead of you know four to six eight ten twelve whatever 20 hours that us crazy people do that love video games so much and it's fine. We are all wonderful. But, I mean, we put in a different level of commitment into games. And it does – it pays off, right? Like, you know, Genshin. Like you said, it's like Genshin. You put you put in the time. You, you benefit from it, right? Yeah, sure, there is always an end point there. But newer players, if they put in the time, can still get there. But you can see if – you know, Genshin did stick around for like 20 years. I know they said they're closing the game down. They said we're running for 10 years and that's it. But I mean, hopefully that's not true. But if that is, it's just like, you know, something, someone coming in though at like eight years is going to go, is it worth it? Like you're not going to get anybody new from that, right? Or not as many anyway. And that's it. Very spontaneously. But they can kind of be there for the start of a new expansion. Reading quests. Now, a funny yeah, little thing the that I like here well, is uh, the FAQ. They're having way more fun with it, and yeah. there's a funny little tease at the end. Um, I mean, where do I even start? It's Why true. should I where? play a game that launched in 2004? That's 2004. a good question. Do I need to buy all the expansions? These, by the way, super. These are actually super common questions. This is, this a is actually good. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Good, good yeah. FAQ. I you agree. I totally agree. Uh, that's totally good. Because, like... Yeah, answer the hard questions. If if you can Obviously. do it, answer it. And yeah. people I know who said, oh, I can't start WoW well now. Um, it's um, I'm too far behind. Like yeah. I mean, yeah. my I fucking girlfriend still says that, that. and I'm like, mm. yeah. I mean, of all the fucking people you could be dating, <laughs> yeah, you know the one guy who would probably make it easy. For, oh, okay, I mean, okay, hey, hang on a second here. So so the thing is that that that's that's exactly it which is kind of exactly what I said at the very beginning. It's, you know, it's that whole thing when you look at something and it's, it's, uh, I'm probably going to get smashed for this, but it's, you look at it and you go, this is a cult of people that have been doing this for so long. How do you join that? How do you join the family, the group, the cult, the gang, the whatever? How do you get in there, right? And, and feel like you you belong and essentially too you're gonna have people i mean he was laughing at his former self like, oh you're just a baby it's like when you people look they're gonna have that same that same perception right like too it's like oh you've only been playing like so long like but th that's that's still something that's she there you're all the bad things about the game but yeah she still has that thing of like yeah but there's so many expansions and there's so much combat and there's so much to do and so much of this so much of that and it's like no no literally that's all back shit that you do later yeah. yeah it's actually very doable right now uh yeah do i need to play all the expansions to understand the story is it's azeroth flat no it's an ellipsoid like earth an ellipsoid so it's flat <laughs> so it's so yeah I, I don't know i don't yeah an ellipse what the fuck's an ellipse like what the, is that like some flat thing like L a let me rock? see what, what's an ellipsoid okay good I get, yep that's I flat like a stone. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's, a two, it's, it's two dimensional. Just... See, it, it's just like that. Yep, that's flat. That's what I thought. <laughs> it's like. That's well, what I was visualizing. Of of like, but, no. uh, you know, if I start playing, will I never catch up to experienced players? That's another True, question I've fucking directly got. Things like mounts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So these are actually really good FAQs. So, so that's, that's exactly it. So it's like, yes, with those two things, but Asmund's going like, Oh, okay, like, you know, oh, yeah, just on those few things. But, again, c 
can that be explained just pretty simply right to somebody who again is just like learning about it or interested it's like you will be missing out on those few things but the rest of it like the story no and it won't affect you know x y and z so it's just interesting for the sorts of things that people be worried about it's not like those faqs where he it's needs, written by sorry as in totally needs to just do like and maybe he's already done it so whatever but i should look later but just a general like a walkthrough for dummies and say simply this is the shit that you're not going to be able to get or it's going to take you years or this is the stuff like you know the rest of it x y and z this is all the stuff you will be able to do i think he the reason i put it on him is because i go he i think could do a really great job like this guy i like i love i could sit and watch his shit all day like he just has that that luring capability right and it just it's amazing to have that power to do that i mean i i wish i could freaking watch everything that he does but there's just not enough time in the day with all of his posts and everything too but yeah if he puts something out like that it may draw so i think maybe wow should just pay him a bunch of money and say dude do the most basic tutorial ever and I'm sure other people have done it, but people respond really well to him, and especially right now more than ever, I think. And it, he would be a great one. He's just really down to earth. Do I need to play all the expansions to understand the story? The answer to that is, rest assured, adventurer, even after you play all the expansions, you still won't understand the story. See? The truth is, the people that work here don't even understand it either. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in good, uh, in, 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 and you in, can in trust good him, paper, right? And what's this here, uh, right? Like, what's the best way to say that? Fuck, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, it, it's like you'll be in good company. Yeah, you'll be in good company. Somebody who just clearly doesn't have the perspective there you of go. a new player. Other things, uh, Pepe has noticed in the trailer. That's clever. I like. Oh that. yes, there we go. And Venture called that. That was. Extension. Yeah, it's weird because that was like, that was nice, like nicely oh, enough yeah. done. Yeah, but I had cool. this weird thought. I was like. Unless I am really smoking something vile, and I've, and paladins can use staves, I'm one hundred percent sure they can't. So I've played what? a paladin since fucking mist. Paladins, um, there's a lot of things paladins can't do. Okay, let me tell you that uh, a lot of things they can't do, and, and so yes, one of those things is absolutely using a staff. Very right. They had a priest wear plate in that, because the lady that oh, like the Anduin. warrior is talking to has like metallic chest and shoulders yeah and then has a staff and uses light which means she's either a paladin or a priest mm. which means at least get that right come on come on come on wait wait dude wait dude get that right um, oh my god scenes, i love how this guy is like the reality check you know he he's the reality check he's like wait a minute all right l listen it's not it's not as good as you think Okay, but he honestly, that guy though, he would be the scariest teacher because just the looks that he he keeps giving and stuff, it's just like you don't know your shit. Like you didn't study. Like you know, get it, get it right. Like <laughs> scary. I know it's a bit of a side thing. Um. I said, I feel like you helped me with all your DMK tutorials. So. I I love personally that's why like tutorials for me are I love doing them when I know what I'm kind of getting into DMK yeah at the start I didn't know and I don't know how they turned out as well as they did so you know we're going on almost five years ago but yeah like I'm I'm really glad I just again I just wish there were more basic 101 you know foundation builders type of thing that aren't trying to just rush through and here are the top 10 tips or top 10 things you need to it's like okay I love that they're so efficient I do but when you're trying to learn about you know these styles of heavier games right you have to treat somebody like they they don't know anything about it start from the beginning and I think that is what maybe the wow is missing right now they just they will not start 
at a basic even gameplay level not necessarily even story at this point just basic gameplay level of how do you do this why do you do these things together like you know sure so show some fun or advanced things too but go back to the basics it really helps in fact features our new eu community manager uh, ah, interesting. Yes, that nice. was a super, super just on the ball and decent and very right. kind. So uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> that's a the fun thing. The truth is, I've actually had uh, pretty much universally positive experiences with Blizzard for oh, quite a while. Blizzard uh, puts out good any stuff. Haven't had weird people, but... uh, you know, anything bad like that happen. It's it's been pretty much whatever. Like so, no, really, like yeah, it's it's been fine. I'll see, yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah, Adventure calls. Blizzard Xandalin's are going to market the shit out of the game again and try to get new players in, which is kind of nice. The way you can tell that he's a paladin is because he cries. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Yeah, obviously. I mean, that, that's what he's a priest. No, no, he's a paladin. Uh, is the alpha up? Let's see. Is the alpha up? Uh, nope, it's not up. Oh, it's down over here. Wrath of the Lich King, Shadowlands Beta, Public Test Realm, World of Warcraft. Nope, the beta is not up, gentlemen. There are some people that thought it was. You are wrong. You're so French. Listen, as I said, palad the Paladin players are just, I mean, look, it's, it's just stay in your bubble. Ironic. <laughs> Ironic. Huh? <laughs> Just stay in your bubble. Dude, that is awesome. That is... <laughs> oh, vibes right there. Vibes. Literally the best. The freaking best. But, yeah, he's just... He's so relatable. Like, I... I love watching his stuff. So, I think... I think I would like to do more of his. Um... I know I just kind of started doing the whole, you know, reacting to uh, to certain people but or certain things. But I think uh, Aslan Gold is, is definitely up there. If you guys if you guys are feeling, you know, this kind of style, then 100%. I will do more. But the question is how many pe how many people like know about him? watch his stuff i want i want to know i want to know it's i think i think he's genius but don't tell him that 